Welcome back to Final Fantasy. Uh, Vestectomy, inner Instagram. That title didn't make any sense as I try to make VII into something different to stand for something. Last time we got here to this sector. Here, this time we're gonna talk to Biggs, who I totally forgot what voice I gave him, but I'll come up with something at the spot of the thing. We're going to pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. You're counting on me? Boy, that is something you should not count on me. Now, if I'm right, we should have a boss coming up. That tends to be how this goes in RPGs. If there is a save point, that means a boss is coming up and the music changed. So, let's see, let's jump onto letter. Hello. Respond. Wait, are we not? Oh, we're. Oh, wow. We're taking a slide instead. I thought we were supposed to get on the ladder. Okay, that's pretty cool. I have to admit, that's pretty cool sliding on a pipe. That's kind of awesome. It's all sort of awesome. Right. So they're making a remake of this game, actually, which, um, I guess, <laughs> I guess I should have just played that version instead. No, um, I, I don't know. I, I have this thing where I, like, I try to play the original version first before the remaster. I did that with Wind Waker, which I'm still not done yet with, but, um, that's beside the point. And I, I recently played Link's Awakening. Which actually, uh, yes, yesterday, as of recording this video, the remaster, Link to Remaking, if you will, came out. So um, I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, I probably won't get it for a while, but I, I played the uh, original over the summer because you know we have to. I have to find out why there is what the differences are, and we can't go in there, or we can just have another save point here. Go figure, right? I'm guessing this is the boss save point, so let's just make sure we're up to up to snuff on snuffles. Um, let's see, magic. No. Um, okay, we got. Yeah, there we go. Cure. Let's get you guys up to snuff, and then do we have any ethers? Ethers, ethers. How are you supposed to say that? Is it ether or ether? I have no idea. Um. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, items. That's where the ethers are. Give you that, you that, we'll get full. We got six potions there. Okay, okay, that's what tends to do. That's right. They restore allies, max HP, and we can only use them at save points. Um, I don't believe it's in Final Fantasy X, which I still haven't beaten, guys. Like, I was talking about that in the first episode, and I still haven't beaten. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I just... Uh, I don't know. Um, okay. So, we've saved. We have a random encounter. We have a magnet. Pipe magnet guy. He looks kind of cool. We're going to shoot him. And then we have the... Uh, Three-legged wolves. Oh, wait. No, there's a... I have to admit, the graphics are not great, but I guess that's to be expected, given that this is a a very old game. Um, try firing. I'm a firing my laser, yo. Here we go. Here we go. For a second there, it looked like the wolf had just three legs, so it's and it's like the the leftmost uh, front leg was missing. I was like, how does he walk like that? Like, that's gotta be painful to walk. He probably falls out over everywhere. There go. And let's go this way. It looks identical to the first reactor we did in, we took on in episode two. And now we have our team here. And Cloud is having a migraine. Papa. Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, maker reactors, Shinra. I hate them all. Me too, Tifa, me too. She looks like a cowboy there. Must have been a painful man. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself! 
Jeez. Jeez, Cloud. You alright? Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. Yeah, we have a reactor to destroy. More important than migraines. Oh man, migraines are the worst. I, I used to get headaches like three or four times a week back when I was in college and it was just horrible. Wait, did I... Did we press this? But yeah, it was like... Like, it was just bad. Like, I could barely... Like, a lot of times when I, I'd have a lot of school work this past year, I could literally, like, not do anything because I just have this giant headache the entire day. It's just... It's terrible. And then, like, w one of my closest friends, she said, like, she never gets... Um, headaches, and I'm just like, jealous, I'm jelly. Like, you need to give me some jelly, that's how jealous I am. Okay, wait, okay. Back to this, w did we do what we were supposed to do? Um. Did we? Um, I'm confused. We got these bottle laser guys, I guess. Um, just keep attacking them, they don't look like they do a lot of damage. they don't take a lot of damage either. Are these guys new enemies? Um, I cannot tell if we've seen them. I don't remember. That's probably not good for my memory purposes. So let's just keep attacking them. Keep on firing my laser. Hurry up time. Come back to me time. Give me my time back. It's kind of weird. I, I'm still getting used to this this uh, time, the time bar. It's kind of weird, I have to admit. Um, I think I like traditional RPGs a little bit better with, or the the system where it's just, it's turn-based RPGs. I mean, this is actually a pretty good game so far. I, I like it quite a bit, but it, it just takes a bit of getting used to. Um, Wait, but I'm, I'm confused. That didn't really do anything. Was it... Do we leave now? Um... I, I really don't want to, like, go back and then just be like, Oh, by the way, you screwed this up. You didn't do what you were supposed to do. Especially with there's no running here, so, um... Alright, so I cannot figure out, so we're going to turn around and hope that we're going the right way. Because I cannot figure out, for the life of me, if we did what we were supposed to do. It's possible that I'll be cutting this out because it's not what we're supposed to do, but hopefully that's not the case. I have no idea because we did interact with it, but now it won't let me interact with it. Um, going this way. Um... Let's climb up Le Lata. And let's just go this way with a random encounter that I'm gonna cut out. We are awesome and destroyed the guy and that uh, cloud almost has a level up. Da blah 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 blah. Okay, um Yeah, I'm so confused. I thought that there would be something that would happen there, but um apparently that's not the case um so let's just go backwards here with our epic jumps seriously just walk over the thing you don't need to do that like the thing like is it really necessary to just jump over there epically like are you really that epic All right so we're up here let's see what oh wait this is new we haven't gone up here we didn't go through the ladder last time. We took, we took the pipe slide, which is kind of cool. Um, new type of pipe. Whoa! There's a treasure chest. Okay, we're making groundbreaking strides here. We found stuff to steal from the the non-terrorists. Oh man, being a terrorist is lit. I hope it pays well. Barrett gets to level up. And we get some more money, so that is very nice. So let us get in ether. Hey, we're out of them. That's convenient. Um, we can't go there, but there's a safe point, so we will go there at some point. Oh, here we are. How convenient. Um, I guess we needed to come up here. 
Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. Clouds, do it. Come on, Cloud. No, good. Let's try it again. Oh, wait. I have to press the button. Did that work? Okay, okay. We can do this. Okay. Okay, it is very difficult to go with the, the group. No! Oh, come on! How hard is it to interact with NPCs? Okay, we're going to we're going to count this out. Okay, one, two. Oh, that's too late! Too late! Too late! I have a feeling I'm going to hear this a lot. Okay, we're going to count this out. Okay, one Mississippi, two. Okay, we're going to do one Mississippi and then do it. Okay. One Mississippi, go! Okay, that's still too early. Wait, did I just say... Uh, I don't know. Too late. One Mississippi. That's good, right? Right? Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I press the A button when you're supposed to. That's the first time I've ever done that. Oh, man, I'm so accomplished. I am the master of the A button. A button, you will not beat me. Is that? Oh, yeah, we need to do that. All right, we're going to save here because if my RPG senses are tingling, that means there should be a boss coming up. Okay, wait. Let's see. Um, we are going to... Um, let's see. I'm guessing... No, we're going to use a tent here. Um, I hope they're not... They're easy to come across as in... You can buy them in stores and stuff, but hopefully we won't have any issues here. Alrighty, we have three more bottle rocket guys. So let's keep attacking here. Hopefully they won't do too much damage. So before recording this video, I had like these extra spicy chips so my, or Cheetos. So my voice is a bit scratchy. And I, I was just thinking that like... This is the first time I've ever had ish like started noticing issues whenever I have hot Cheetos with my voice. Like normally I'm a true like I can handle my hot spicy food, but and like I've had these spicy like the extra spicy hot Cheetos before, but like my voice just like or my throat just did not like it today. Hopefully that's not the case because I love spicy food, but um it just kind of sucks that it's like kind of difficult to record right now to talk through it but I can I can do the pains of the recordings let's go through this hallway here and ooh background that is generic it's like a lot of wires there it's kind of deep here and we are going to jump for it this way but I want to go right oh my goodness the army she, she in rush shoulders? What are you doing here? Fooey! What the hell's going on? A trap. Well, no crap, Cloud. President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be. What was it? Avalanche? Don't you forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? Oh man, it's... Crap just got real, man. Long time no see, sir. Long time no see, oh you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd be exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor. What was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you became, become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant, perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Who's this Sephiroth guy, I mean? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a big bang too. Serves you all right. And such a waste of good fireworks just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say, vermin? Shinra? Shinra, 
the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that makes you king, vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man. So if you excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made up arrangements for a playmate for all, for you all. Bring it up. We, we can take it. What's that noise? We can take you, Shinra. What, are you too chicken to fight me? The hell is that? Oh my god, it's a floating robot thing that kind of looks like the robot from Sonic. I don't know. Maybe there isn't a sh robot from Sonic, I don't know. Let me Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. <laughs> I'm sure the data will extract from you dead. Your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier? Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President. There he goes. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. That we do. Looks. Help, help, Cloud. This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. And we have a boss fight, finally, jeez. And it looks like he's in between us, how nice. Alrighty, so let's see what, try our things here. What, I don't know what program manage thing is. So let's attack him here. Looks kinda cool. For some reason at first when I saw him, he looked like the E-102 robot from uh, Sonic, except without the legs, but I it was way off. Whoa! Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Oh, hopefully that's not the case. And it looks like fire isn't that good. Let's try lightning. Ah, that's a much better. And he can counterattack and turns very slowly. Wow, he actually does quite a decent damage. Um, let's see, uh, limit for Cloud Bravier. Jeez, okay, Tifa needs to heal in a bit. And my computer needs to stop having pop-ups. Right there. Oh, okay, that's good. That is good stuff. Let's try Barret, and we want to cure Tifa here. We definitely don't want our he healer going down, because he does quite a bit of damage. Um, although we do too, which is good. Um, let's try attacking him with Cloud instead. Looks like Barret's. he's going to... He's going to um, do pretty good with his health right now. Um, there we go. Look at that face, isn't he so adorable? Who's a who's an evil? Oh my god, that's where it's from. Wait, was that the boss fight? That's it? Okay, that was easy. Jeez, that took like five seconds, okay. I, I was gonna say is he looks like that robot from Star Wars, I forget his name, I'm gonna put up an image of him right now. So there we go, and we get a Titan Bangle, which is nice. Give him to Cloud or Barret or uh, Tifa after the cutscene. Whoa, okay, that was kind of powerful. I mean, it's gonna blow, let's go Tifa. Barret, can't you do something? Not a damn thing, sorry Cloud. At least I gotta save me my, my money. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. Like my unconditional love for you. Don't worry. I'll, I'll give you a reward when you... A, a special... A special gift for your troubles when we get back. I know, Tifa. Harry! You're gonna be alright! Hmm. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, football! Can't you... Can't hold on much longer, Barrett. Hurry! Don't go crying like a woman. There ain't nothing I can do for you. You gotta do it on your own, boy. Barrett. Okay, hold on. No! Yeah, my boxes of hands will save you, Tifa.
You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved! How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello, hello. I know. Hey, who are you? Hello, hello. Hey, it's the flower girl from earlier. That's cool. How did I get in a church though? Wasn't I in a reactor? You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. So the reactor was above a church? I mean, come on. That's weird. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed. Is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient. Because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Mingar. But for some reason they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. Yeah, plant those flowers with your box hands. I, I can't believe I just noticed that like everybody's hands are boxed. Oh, we can move. Oh, okay. The cutscene isn't over. So we meet again. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. Don't look at me. I'm shy. My, my face. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, we have to answer that. <laughs> I was not expecting this, this for an answer. Excuse me, but you're really rude. But I forgive you because you bought flowers from me. Besides, I'm a good girl. I don't get drunk. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, I love those materia that are good for nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. Uh, I guess, uh, but I'm not very talkative, girlfriend. Even though you're not my actual girlfriend, Tifa is. Um, uh, you know what? We're going with, with rude here. We're just going to be rude to her. Oh, I see. Uh, I wonder whose fault it is. It's not easy to grow them, you know. Poor flowers. <laughs> you don't want to talk to me. And we can move again, and let's go leaving her behind. Goodbye, we'll never see you again. Apparently we will, because we can't actually leave this church. It's in an alternate dimension, away from Midgar and everything. So it is just her and me. That is all we will talk about. And we will talk about it in the next episode. Ha ha ha. But I'm turning away, don't look at me. Anyways, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we will actually talk to this girl, this mysterious girl who found us, and who for some reason is growing a flower bed in a church. I don't understand how that works, but yes. 
By the way, if you enjoy this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, please. It would be really appreciated. And yes, my name has been Xenobolt, my username, my, not my actual name. Next time, we will talk to her. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out!